Eric Rodgers and Ryan Ashker here at Verona High School. Verona Wildcats hosting the Madison Memorial Spartans to end the big time basketball series on the regular season. Seeds already locked up, Ryan, but Verona is still looking to fight and get a win. Yeah, Verona looking to get a win. They haven't gotten a regular season win against Memorial since joining the same conference, but they pulled a big upset in the tournament last year against Memorial. Uh, we'll see what happens here tonight. Two bitter rivals with Memorial and Verona with the close proximity. The two schools just really don't like each other. So we'll see what will happen here tonight. Yeah, and Sharif Smith from Memorial, one of the leading scorers in the conference, uh, could be one of the factors that Verona is going to need to stop. But they said, you know, defensively, we're going to try some things that maybe they haven't seen before. Uh, some things to mix it up. I mean, last game of the season, can't hold anything back, right? No, you really can't. And Verona is really going to have to try to pull off some stops, try to find some things to slow down that fast pace of Memorial offense. They score a lot of points. And, you know, looking at the numbers, you would think Memorial should be able to get the win today. We'll see what Verona does defensively to try to slow them down. Yeah, Memorial actually is uh, in the, the last, they've won the last 12 games, first of all. Coming in here, a chance to close out the regular season on a 13 game winning streak, winning by an average of 16.8 points. So they're not just squeaking by these victories. And that victory uh, Verona had in the regional tournament last year, that was by one point. So this is, uh, it could be a nail biter. Could be. We're hoping for a good game as this is the last game of our A1 Big Time Basketball Series for this season. So we're going to end it with a boom as we have Verona and Madison Memorial. And so we will talk with both of these coaches coming up shortly after the break in the Big Time Basketball Series. Have you ever noticed furniture store prices go up and down and then up again? At A1, no exaggerated discounts, just our everyday lowest price guaranteed. Need it fast? Just ask. A1 will get it done. Madison's favorite, A1 Furniture. Mother Earth Organic is Dane County's premier all-natural lawn care and landscape company. With our Safe Lawn program, we do more than just feed your grass organically. We also increase soil fertility by stimulating natural biological activity, which makes your lawn a truly healthy lawn. We can also control weeds and dandelions with our safe and organic weed killer. Sign up for our Safe Lawn Care program by March 31st and receive $35 off. Mother Earth Organic, thanks for being green. The Red Zone Madison is your sports bar with over 35 large flat screen TVs. We bleed football, baseball, hockey, soccer, basketball, you name it. All the sports entertainment you seek and a full menu for dine-in or carry-out. Check out the Red Zone nachos, homemade chips piled high with all the fixings, including three cheeses and your choice of meat. Big enough for a group or try the Red Zone Club. The Red Zone Madison, live music, sports, and the best pub grub in town. Tired of playing the furniture store price guessing game? Prices are up one day, down the next. At A1 Furniture, no games, just our everyday lowest price guaranteed. Only at Madison's favorite local furniture and mattress store, A1 Furniture. Join us each week for Wisconsin Doctors, where we talk to local health care providers about our common health concerns and tips for healthy living. It's all right here on CW57. As we conclude the Big Time Basketball Series, I'm Eric Rodgers with Ryan Ashker and head coach of Madison Memorial, Steve Collins. Steve, you have the, already the share of the Big 8 Conference and you want the uh, outright. So with the seedings already kind of wrapped up, kind of what's your main focus? Uh, our main focus is winning the game. Uh, fair, fair enough. Yeah, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll experiment. We'll do a couple of things we haven't done all season just because, you know, like you said, but um, you know, my parents, like I told you last night, my parents always uh, want me to share, but I don't want to share this conference championship. So we'll see if the boys are able to take care of business tonight for sure. Uh, Coach Collins, you guys, uh, Memorial's pretty much owned this rivalry since Verona came to the conference, with the exception of that regional loss last year. Is that something that sticks with the guys, sticks with you, or how do you kind of get past that tonight? 
Uh, I think it stuck with us a pretty pretty long time, to be honest with you. I think it was a missed dunk and a layup at the end of that regulation game. So, uh, yeah, you know, you have to move on. That, that season's over and we're into the new one. But, uh, yeah, you know, uh, we, we've, we've always played well here, and they have really loose rims. So I think you'll see a lot of shots taken tonight for sure. So a lot of shots taken, but what are you guys going to do, uh, whether defensively or offensively, that you think you can take advantage of? We're going to pressure them a little bit more, just because I think a couple of the opponents that we're going to see in the first couple rounds of the tournament, we're going to be able to pressure. So we're going to do some of our full court pressure and some of those things I think will be really effective. Okay, well, we will see how that plays out here tonight, Coach, and we will talk with Alan Buss of Verona shortly. Then we'll have the tip-off of this game, Big 8 Basketball and the Big Time Basketball Series. Tell me more about the Charter Spectrum Triple Play. You mean the best TV, internet, and voice? Charter Spectrum Triple Play. TV. 200 free in Sweet HD, 10,000 on demand. Instantly. I'm not just the operator. Ditch to ditch, I'm your liberator. Charter Spectrum TV, just $29.99. Call 1-844-5529. Charter Spectrum High Speed needs no slow down. 60 megs, I like the way that sounds. Say goodbye to DSL. Say hello to Fast As. Charter Spectrum Internet, just $29.99. Call 1-844-5529. Charter Spectrum Voice Unlimited Talk. Zero fees and features that rock. Crystal clear connection, say hi. Charter Raiders, standing by. Charter Spectrum Voice, just $29.99. Call 1-844-5529. As we get set to uh, kick off this finale of the Big Time Basketball Series and your regular season, Coach, this is Coach Alan Buss of Verona. Well, let's talk about Big 8 Conference. That's kind of out of the picture at this point, but what are you looking to accomplish? Well, for us, it's just about finishing strong and, and trying to move up in the conference uh, standings. You know, right now we're sitting at fifth, and depending on what happens with Sun Prairie and Beloit, if we were to be able to win tonight, then we could move up into fourth alone or or fifth and so that's always what it's what it's about is during the conference season is trying to move up and and uh, and just get better as well now not only is it uh, you know the regular season finale but it's senior night tonight uh, all the kids that put in time you know four or more years to this Verona program how do you deal with these those emotions how do you deal with those kids on a night like tonight yeah you know we talk about that we had a walk through this morning and, and I told them you know I said you may not realize it now, but when you walk on the floor, that you're going to have feelings. It's going to be strange. You're going to think, you know, think back how fast it went, and and so you you need to really learn how to deal with that because we've had some some situations before where kids all of a sudden get emotional and then they're not ready to play. So, you know, we, we talk about that and try to prepare them for that. And uh, nobody knows the mentality better than you, who has uh, spent many years as a psychologist. Uh, now, using that mentality, you did coming off the, uh, the upset. Maybe you don't see it as an upset of last year in the, in the tournament beating Madison Memorial. What does that do for you coming in tonight? Well, I think it just gives us confidence, you know, and uh, we, we had never beaten Memorial before that game last year, and, and I think it just helps the kids feel like they can, they can win and they can beat whoever they play. And, and we really talk all year about this being a process and always trying to get better, and every game's a new opportunity, and that's really the way we look at this. And we will see the end of this game. We'll get this thing started after the break. You're watching the Big Time Basketball Series on CW57 Sports. Have you ever noticed furniture store prices go up and down and then up again? At A1, no exaggerated discounts, just our everyday lowest price guaranteed. Need it fast? Just ask. A1 will get it done. Madison's favorite, A1 Furniture. Tell me more about the Charter Spectrum Triple Play. You mean the best TV, internet, and voice? Charter Spectrum Triple Play. TV. 200 free in Sweet HD, 10,000 on demand. Instantly. I'm not just the operator. Ditch to ditch, I'm your liberator. Charter Spectrum TV, just $29.99. Call 1-844-5529. 
chart is stretch from high speed means no slow down 60 megs i like the way that sounds say goodbye to dsl say hello to fast as charter spectrum internet just 29.99 call Unlimited talk. Zero fees and features that rock. Crystal clear connection. Say hi. Charter Raiders standing by. Charter Spectral Voice. Just $29.99. Call. Tired of playing the furniture store price guessing game? Prices are up one day, down the next. At A1 Furniture, no games, just our everyday lowest price guaranteed. Only at Madison's favorite local furniture and mattress store, A1 Furniture. And after the National Anthem, welcome into Verona High School. I'm Eric Rogers with Ryan Ashiker. Here to call the Big 8 finale and the Big Time Basketball finale on CW57 Sports. Ryan, welcome back. Yeah, thank you. Should be a good game tonight. Uh, highly contested rivalry with the Verona Wildcats against the traveling Memorial Spartans here tonight. A big house packed to the gills with fans. Should be a good game. Yeah, a lot of uh, spirit in these fans as we uh, actually saw before the game. Uh, Memorial coach uh, he came in. He was he goes and takes a selfie with the visiting student section. Steve Collins is just a, a character on his own, and you know they come in with the three state championships and 12 straight conference titles, and they have a share of it already. But looking to clinch that outright tonight, Ryan. Yeah, Memorial comes in with a swagger about them. They've always been a perennial just powerhouse of a basketball team. Uh, actually, Verona has never beat them in a regulation play since they've joined the Big 8. Their only win against Memorial was last season in the regional round of the playoffs. Yeah, how about that? I mean, you, you can't win the regular season game or you just don't. And then you go and get the one that really matters, and I think that's what this game's all about tonight is proving that going into the postseason, either of these teams can be a threat. Well, regardless of the sport or the game, it's really difficult to beat a single team three times in one season. Yeah. Uh, you know, they learn how to play against you. They learn their weaknesses, what may work best against you, and ultimately how to score. And that's what happened last year when the Wildcats came in and narrowly beat uh, Memorial in the playoffs. I believe that was a one-point game that led the Wildcats to victory. And as it is the home finale for Verona, and that means it is senior parent night. So you see the parents and students being introduced right now as well. Uh, you know, Verona, seven and three at home this season. They had a six game winning streak snapped on Friday against Sun Prairie. And you know, they are averaging 54 and a half points per game. And it's gonna be a close one if you look at the averages, but you know, none of these teams are, are going to want to go into this game saying, look, we're, we're just trying to rest it up for the postseason. Both these teams are going to fight tooth and nail to win this one. Well, we talked to both coaches pregame, and Coach Buss said his goal was to come out here and get the win. And the same thing with Steve Collins, who already has at least a share of the conference title locked up. He said he wanted to come in and just, he's going to play his starters. He's playing to win this game, and he's looking forward to carrying into the playoffs with another win here. Well, Ryan, if you're a believer in preseason rankings at all, the Wisconsin State Journal actually ranked Madison Memorial and Verona to be contenders to win this uh, Big 8 conference, uh, obviously competing with Sun Prairie. Uh, but then Memorial right now, as the Week 12 rankings came out, uh, Memorial ninth in the AP, sixth in the coaches' poll. So it's going to be uh, a game that Verona wants to steal away a little bit. And even though the rankings and the playoff seedings are set, there's still some fight left in both these teams. Well, it's a source of pride when you get late to the season, you know, especially for Verona. It is senior night, as you guys can see on the screen right now, the seniors for Verona getting introduced. You know, no one wants to lose on that night. This is a night for those seniors that they've worked over four years for in this program, want to get a win in their last game on their home court, and walk out with a little bit of pride. So that's what Verona has to fight for. And for Memorial, you know, they just know. They come in here knowing they're the better team, and they don't want to step up or have a little miss. 
before they get into the playoffs here in a few weeks. Well, the interesting thing for Verona's coach, Alan Buss, is his 14th year at the helm of the Wildcats. He's been the school psychologist since 1996. This is his first year not being the school psychologist, so I think he's learned a thing or two about the mentality of maybe not being the best in the series against a particular team and then knowing what you need to do to coach any particular player as you go into those series. Well, it's got to help them. It's, uh, you know, especially when you're dealing with kids of this age, they all have different needs and different abilities and being able to handle all those, you know, that's a big advantage that uh, Coach Bus has with Verona. Well, uh, you know, now we've talked about this a little bit, and while the players are being introduced, one of the seniors for Verona, Will Kellerman, he is uh, one of the leading scorers for Verona, averaging 12.7 points per game. He was uh, one of the semifinalists for the WisconsinSports.net Shooter Semifinalist, uh, preseason second team all-conference member. Uh, he's going to be one of the players to keep an eye on, number 34 at the end of the line right now. Yeah, we'll see what we're going to get out of him tonight. That's going to be one of the guys that Verona's going to rely on. Bigger guy at 6'4". Verona has a pretty solid lineup as well as size goes, but Memorial's going to come in just probably a little bit more athletic. As a big ovation here, as you can hear, for the Verona seniors and their parents. And now if you look ahead to the postseason, we don't want to look too far ahead, Ryan, but you know, you got sectionals coming up here starting on Friday, March 5th. And uh, you're going to have your eight seed Verona against number nine Badger up in the Kenosha Bradford sectional. And then in the Middleton sectional, it's going to be Madison Memorial, a two seed, facing the winner of 15 and 18, Janesville Parker and Kenosha Tremper. Well, you gotta you got to feel with uh, Memorial. They're going to be the better team going into the tournament. We know that. They have another great shot at another state title to bring back to Madison. We'll see what they do as they get into the playoffs here. But, you know, tonight's going to be a little step forward for that. Ending the regular season on a strong note. Ending the conference season on a strong note. And going into the playoffs, playing their best. That's going to be the goal that uh, Coach Collins and the rest of these Spartans as they bring a big crowd in here to Verona to see what they can do here tonight against the Wildcats. And if you guys are unfamiliar, this is a big rivalry game. Uh, it goes through the football season into basketball and the rest of the sports. Verona Memorial, uh, for being as close as they are, the kids don't like each other. They look forward to this matchup, and we got a big house here tonight to watch this action. And uh, looking at some of the players for Memorial that are also going to be key. Sharif Smith, the leading scorer. I believe he's uh, fourth in the Big 8 Conference in scoring at 16.3. Henry Howden, 13th in the Big 8 at 11.4. Howden actually a uh, big walk-on guy at receiver for the Wisconsin Badgers. So a lot of multi-sport athletes here on the court tonight. And, and you talk about athleticism, and you kind of need that no matter what sport you're playing. Yeah, I touched on it a couple weeks ago, but, you know, being a multi-sport athlete in high school is a huge advantage, not only to kind of learn those life skills and take advantage of it, but if you look at some of the bigger colleges, um, you know, Coach Saban down in Alabama, um, you know, a lot of the other big-time college football coaches, they won't touch a player, uh, no matter how good they are, maybe one sport with football, unless they're a multi-sport uh, players, same thing with Coach Urban at Ohio State. They made a really big article about that a couple weeks ago uh, where um, I believe it was 70% of the recruits he goes after are three sport athletes in high school. And that's the kind of diversity that coaches look for at the next level among these high school student athletes. Yeah, isn't that something? I mean, it's, it's not something you normally think about. You go, all right, I'm going to recruit for football or I'm going to recruit for basketball. You think maybe we'll just focus on how good they are at that particular sport. But no, I mean, I guess it shows sort of a dedication to uh, keeping yourself, uh, you know, in shape. You, you stay, you keep your conditioning up when you do a multi-sport thing. And it's a lot of these student athletes are also better students because of their athletic abilities and just being involved in that. It kind of teaches responsibility and all those kinds of things as well. Yeah, that's correct. That's a lot of the thing that coaches look for. Speaking of coaches, we have uh, Madison Memorial's brand new football coach in attendance here tonight. You yeah, CW right. fans may know him. Coach Adam Smith taking over the helm of the Madison Memorial Spartans football team. So we're going to look forward to seeing some of them next fall. Now that we still have the seniors being introduced here on the on the court, one of the 
actual players not being introduced because he's from Memorial, but uh, Jason Wea, a uh, 6'1 junior forward, he is not the biggest contributor on the scoreboard, but you know he has the athletic ability when he's the brother of Jester Wea, who's a Pittsburgh College uh, wide receiver. He was also a very great athlete as far as track and field. He was a sprinter, and uh, along with Doris Fountain, those names might sound familiar to Mattis Memorial fans. Uh, but Jason Wea is the guy that's going to be stepping up for Memorial in the coming years. Yeah, they got a lot of good talent here. That starts with uh, Sharif Smith, who we've touched on, and a couple more really good athletes. For those Memorial Spartans, want to make sure we thank Milio's Sandwiches, the hometown sponsor for Verona here tonight. Want to thank our friends over at Milio supplying us with dinner before the game got started, as well as all the folks over at A1 Furniture and Mattress, the official sponsor of Big Time Basketball here on CW57 Sports. And we finally get the player introductions now, and this game going to be tipping off here shortly. And it just wouldn't be the big time basketball finale without a senior night and a little bit of an extra push for the Verona players who not only want the win, but to do it in front of their parents on senior night. And as Coach Buss had talked about before the game, you don't necessarily know how that's going to play out until you actually get on the court. And now we have the Memorial student section. They're all standing up for Memorial, traveling a couple miles down the road to face Verona. They're actually having pajama night here at Verona <laughs> High School. All I see, I in see bath Zubas. robes and I see Zumba's Zubas. pants. And for the Verona side of things, we have a couple students in ESPN 8, the Ocho out here. So we got uh, some contemporaries, I guess, on the Verona sideline here tonight covering the game. Yeah, we got a little competition, Ryan. Now fans are on their feet as this gets tipped off, but the tip goes out of bounds. And we'll have the game starting with an inbounds pass for Verona. And that's Will Kellerman, the senior you saw get introduced. Now hand it off to Nathaniel Buss, son of Coach Allen Buss. We get this game started, just trying to feel each other out. And that is not how you want to start it with a toss away. No, Toman on the inside, they try to push it down to the big body, listed at 6-6, and he tries to dish it out and tosses it out of bounds. That's going to be Memorial ball. As Memorial comes down the court, it's Sharif Smith, the leading scorer at point guard. And both these teams looking to close this season out with a win and a big one uh, for a Memorial can enter the postseason with 13 straight wins. The shot from deep. Missed rebound taken down by Cole Schmitz. Brett Tauber there putting up the long three-pointer. He's listed at 6-6, so another one of those big elongated bodies trying to put up a three from the top of the arc. No good still. 0-0 minute into the game. Kellerman takes Shreve Smith to the glass and puts it off, and he'll go to the line shooting two. Here is your Mother Earth organic replay. You see diving in there. Going to pick up the foul, and that is going to be shots for Will Kellerman of Verona, number 34. Now Kellerman makes good on the first one and the second as well, so your fundamentals working for you for Verona up 2-0 with a minute gone in this game. Tree Smith going to bring it back down for Memorial. And so, Ryan, both these teams just kind of feeling each other out at this point. So a lot of that swing motion and trying to get some room to the inside and just off the rim, it rolls off for Sharif Smith, and we get a tie-up. Yeah, Smith bounced in there, tried to get one up, and it just kissed the rim and rolled off the back end of it. So not able to put it down. Now we're going to have number 21, Henry Hooden, throwing in for the Spartans. Yeah, that's the receiver going to the Badgers. And now another rebound for Verona. That's Jake Toman. The bus gets it over into the corner and now takes it back over at the wing. Kellerman trying to get the ball inside, and we get a reach over penalty, Brett Tauber. So two free throw opportunities for Verona to start this game. 
here on the Mother Earth like Organic they... Replay. You barely see that reach in there by Tauber, but the officials are going to pick that up and call it. Wildcats looking to throw it in here from the side. Yes, yeah, so it won't be free throws, but an opportunity to put some more points on the board anyway for Verona on this possession. So maybe not too much to be said so far, Ryan, as far as what's been going on in this game, but a couple poor passes, and Sharif Smith will just take it down the length of the court and put it right in, and then a steal on the other end, Memorial coming back the other way. Howden back to Songolo. Smith trying to split the defense, dishes out over the corner, and that one's good. Ferguson. With the A1 tax and financial three-point play, Jake Ferguson there with the long shot. That's going to put Memorial up. I think they do call it a two-pointer just inside the line there. It's tough from our advantage point. Five and a half to play in quarter number one. Bus thought about taking the three-point shot. Loses the handle, but they get it back. Verona trying to get it inside. They don't. Another turnover. Memorial will slow it down. That Songlo is second turnover of the night here for the Spartans. Yeah, stepping Songlo it up was, on defense. Yeah, he was key in the last time's victory on January 15th, I believe. Still swinging it around. Sharif Smith will take a three-point attempt. It's an A1 tax on financial three-point play. Great shot there by Smith from the outside. So now Verona, after taking the first two points on an 0-7 drought. The Spartans have posted the last seven points. Now Kellerman dishes it out, and it's another turnover, Ryan. Yeah, the Memorial defense really stepping up as they are up 7-2 after the break here. Smith going to throw it in for the Spartans. Scratch that. Sharif Smith going to step off the court, and he's going to defer to going to be tossing it in here for Memorial Spartans. Bringing it down the court is number three, Billy Wilson. So Wilson comes in, the smaller point guard. Just a sophomore. And uh, as you heard Coach Collins say in the pregame, we're going to try some things to pressure defensively, or offensively, excuse me, and really try to put this to Verona. And so far it's been working, Ryan. Memorial getting a lot of good movement on the ball. There's the three. That is Coco Songolo on an A1 tax and financial three-point play. As the Spartans begin to rally, now up 10-2 to in Verona. Yeah, and both those three-point attempts so far for the Spartans have been good. So obviously that 100% three-point percentage, another turnover going the other way. Howden through traffic. It's no good, and the ball will go off, I believe, a Spartan player. So Verona will... On the fast break the other way, defensively, we were able to contain the Spartans, and that's that's key for Verona to staying in this thing early. Yeah, more impressive defense. Uh, they got the ball now coming down the court. That is Avery Fossum now, number 20. Kellerman will pull up for the three-pointer and knocks it down. A three-point play, A1 tax and financial. He has five on the night. Smith controlling the floor for the Spartans. Smith, another three goes up and goes down. A1 tax and financial three-point play. A lot of those for Memorial and a couple by Sharif Smith. Kellerman, the contested shot. They call an offensive foul. It's going the other way, and the crowd loves it. There you saw in the Mother Earth organic replay the offensive foul there, and we may be in Verona. But that memorial crowd is loud. And we will take a red zone timeout at this time. You're watching big time basketball on CW57 Sports. 
Have you ever noticed furniture store prices go up and down and then up again? At A1, no exaggerated discounts, just our everyday lowest price guaranteed. Need it fast? Just ask. A1 will get it done. Madison's favorite, A1 Furniture. Emilio Sandwiches is a proud supporter of Wisconsin High School Athletics. With 24 community locations in and around Madison, Emilio Sandwiches delivers to your home, office, and caters virtually any size event. Visit us at Emilio's.com and like us on Facebook. Tired of playing the furniture store price guessing game? Prices are up one day, down the next. At A1 Furniture, no games, just our everyday lowest price guaranteed. Only at Madison's favorite local furniture and mattress store, A1 Furniture. Eric Rogers and Ryan Asher out of the red zone timeout. And if you're curious how the score came to be 13-5, three for three on three pointers for the Spartans is how they came out to this lead. Will Kellerman for Verona doing all the scoring for the Wildcats. The only five Verona Memorial ball now already with a nice lead. We said Memorial probably has the stronger team coming into it. Verona's gonna try to battle back though. Still trying to pick up some position in the conference and seeding for the playoffs. Howden fakes a three pointer and goes to the rack and again he's short just like last time. Now we get a fight for the ball, and I think they're going to call that one to Verona. Yeah, how uh, possession a, arrow. How in a couple uh, opportunities, as you see here on the Mother Earth organic replay, for a couple of easy layups, and not sure why, but uh, missing both of those off the rim. Well, he's been aggressive, and there's the tip, and another turnover for Verona. That's four on the night. Great play there by Billy Watson as now Verona takes over on the steal. Smith was stripped, and going the other way is Casey McClure. McClure drives it down off the steal. He's going to pick up two, seven to 13 in favor of the visiting Spartan. Sharif Smith drives, not going to happen. Ball goes down. A lot of fighting jump for ball. the ball. They call jump ball. I did see Coach Allen Buss for Verona call timeout. I think we'll we're the only ones that, that saw him call that. Yeah, they don't get the call in, and it's going to be Spartan ball underneath Verona's basket. And a chance to expand on this 13-7 lead two minutes to go in the first period Songolo to Howden still working it around and that's really been working for him you take the open shot Smith takes it swatted away but they call a foul yeah that's gonna send Sharif Smith to the line obviously a pretty strong free throw shooter for the Spartans Smith already with Eight points on two three-pointers. His first chance from the charity stripe is up and good. Here on senior night, the Spartans coming in trying to really ruin the atmosphere here in Verona High School. And like you said, it kind of feels like the Spartans, they traveled so well, it, almost, it might as well be a home game for them too. Yeah, that's how it's coming out. They have Bruce, the mascot, out there. He's getting the crowd going for the Spartans as Tree Smith puts the next one down. So he already has 10 points for the Spartans, 10 of the 15. Sharif Smith outscoring Verona by himself so far in the first quarter. Yeah, averaging 16.3s. Uh, Juco transfer, he's, he's going to play for a Juco school in Florida, and now going the other way is Nathaniel Neppel. So opportunities for both teams in transition. Men to have to play a six-point lead for the Spartans. Songolo. He'll take it himself, driving, pulls up, and he knocks it down. Nice little fadeaway there by Songlo is now coming down. You have Buss for Verona. He's going to kick it back out to Clements. Clements back to Buss. So they keep swinging it around and trying to find the inside presence. And defensively, the Spartans just not letting it happen. And as we get under the minute mark in this first quarter. Down to 45, trying to get the ball in. Spinning off the defense. Hallmark is going to get a chance for an and one play. 
See Hallmark driving there on the Mother Earth organic replay. A good little layup. And that's also going to send him in the stripe for an opportunity in A1 tax. And financial three-point play right now for Tyler Hallmark. Yeah, the thing about that is when you get those contested shots, yeah, you're going to go to the free throw line, but to finish and have the strength to do that and get those shots to go down and get the potential at the three-point play, that's big for any team. Songlo to Lindquist. Now going the other way is stripped, and Howden again is trying to drive inside, but every time he goes to the lane, he's been absolutely hounded and stopped. Yeah, I like the tenacity out of him, but it's not working out just yet. Keeps that up, he's going to end up wearing down those Verona defenders and might be able to make a couple plays. It's 17-11 so far with 30.4 seconds left in this opening period. A tip, Howden makes up for it, and the layup. And that's a way to put your team up. Well, you have Howden using that 6-3 frame. He's going to tip the ball, pick it himself, and just put down the easy layup. Verona, 14 seconds left. Kellerman to bus. Down to five, inside, and off the glass, Nepple. And that is going to be the end of quarter number one. It's 19-13 to end quarter number one in favor of the Spartans. You're watching Big Time Basketball on CW57 Sports. Mother Earth Organic is Dane County's premier all-natural lawn care and landscape company. With our Safe Lawn program, we do more than just feed your grass organically. We also increase soil fertility by stimulating natural biological activity, which makes your lawn a truly healthy lawn. We can also control weeds and dandelions with our safe and organic weed killer. Sign up for our Safe Lawn Care program by March 31st and receive $35 off. Mother Earth Organic, thanks for being green. The friendly staff at the Radisson Hotel of Madison are proud supporters of Memorial High School Athletics. Stop by and check out their newly renovated restaurant, Twist, featuring a brand new menu and daily drink specials. You don't need to check in to eat out. Radisson Hotel. Go Spartans! Eric Rodgers and Ryan Ashiker here with you in Verona High School. It's 19-13. Madison Memorial over Verona right now. Your high point man so far is Sharif Smith of the Spartans with 10, two three-pointers, a couple free throws, and one field goal. Ryan, this one is, it started out all Spartans, and then a couple missed opportunities have led to this now six-point lead. Yeah, Verona's trying to battle back here. Memorial defense has been pretty stout. A lot of turnovers from both teams so far, though, early in the second. Well, that's bound to happen as you kind of feel each other out for now the second time in the season. Buss will take a three-point attempt. Knocks it down his first attempt of the night. An A1 tax and financial three-point play. Nice shot there for the sophomore Buss. Puts the three down. Memorial with the ball down, working around as they have been. Yeah, and once again, the three-pointers have really been the key to either the lead or the deficit, and right now, Oh wow, there goes Brett Tauber, the big center. It's gonna we'll be knock a long two for Tauber. Using that 6-6 six, six frame to shoot it over everybody. Long three now put up by number 34. That is Will Kellerman gonna bounce off the glass. Shreve Smith now looking dishes out. Memorial, per usual, working it around the perimeter. And trying to find the best opportunity. Tauber goes inside to Howden and Howden rolls it in. And Bust. so now they've pushed the lead back out. Bus for Verona works it back in. Now the shot put up. That is Jake Toman. No good. Sharif Smith going to bring it back down from Memorial. He's out to for, Songolo. Calls for Songolo out in the corner. And now Howden will take it at the point. Songolo for three. And that one's good as well. Four for four on the three pointers for Memorial. It's another A1 tax and financial three point play. And Songolo now with eight. We will take a red zone timeout. You're watching Big Time Basketball on CW57 Sports. The Red Zone Madison is your sports bar with over 35 large flat screen TVs. We bleed football, baseball, hockey, soccer, basketball, you name it. All the sports entertainment you seek and a full menu for dine-in or carry-out. 
Check out the Red Zone Buffalo Wings. Wings and drummies toss in our signature buffalo sauce. A great starter. Or try the Red Zone Buffalo Salad. We toss that chicken on a bed of fresh greens, veggies, and cheese and serve it with a warm breadstick. The Red Zone Madison. Live music, sports, and the best pub grub in town. Once again, Ryan Ashker, I'm Eric Rogers. Here in Verona, it's 6-19 to play before halftime. It's 26-16 in favor of the Spartans. As you see, Nathaniel Buss hitting the three-pointer and then going the other way is the Spartans. Nice little collection of plays there on the Mother Earth Organic Replay. Buss dishes it out. And now it'll be Neppel to Buss and then over Inside, we get a play away from the ball. It's all called against the Spartans, I think. And it is. So Ryan, just as it seems that this game was all Spartans and then Verona came back, it's back out to a 10-point lead. Yeah, a lot of momentum shifts early in the game. We gotta see who kinda starts to capitalize on those. Verona's gonna have to take control here pretty quick unless they want to get blown out of their gym on senior night. Oh wow, a lot of tenacity there to fight for it as they're going to the floor. Violent rebound there for both teams as you see Jason Wea. He goes up for it. And now with the scrum ends up being Spartan ball. Quan Clements was the other player involved in that trying to pull down that rebound. Here you have Sharif Smith driving it down the court. He's going to kick it back out. Now an inside pass to Howden. They're really trying to get to him, but then Kellerman is called for the foul on the reach in. Howden will now inbound with a 10 point lead underneath Verona's basket. That's two fouls on Kellerman, by the way. Smith trying to drive through traffic. He doesn't get it to fall, but he will go to the line. Two for two on the night so far. Good play of the bear by Smith. You see why he's been such a big factor in this Memorial team. Drives it in there, finds a way to attract the foul and still get a shot up. That time it didn't fall, but he's gonna go to the line. Make it three for three on his free throws tonight. 11 points total for Sharif Smith. The second one up and good as well. And Ryan, we have a little special something coming up at halftime, do we not? We do. We're going to have Bruce the Spartan versus the Verona Wildcat in our CW57 Sport Shootout. You know, we've always had students up to this point, but never a mascot. I'm going to take Bruce in this one. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take the Wildcat then. That was not, not an intimidating cat. Well, you may say so. Anyway, it is a 10-point lead still for Verona, or for the Spartans, excuse me. It's 28-18 with 5-12 to play before that halftime festivities. So Spartans going small and a little bit more inexperienced. Songolo rises up, knocks it down once again. He has five points in this quarter and 10 total. Good play there by Jason Wea. Getting a foot out, kicking the ball. Obviously out on him, so Verona's still gonna throw it in, but a heads up play by Wea. It's now 30 to 18 as Verona nearly loses the inbounds pass and they're getting hounded by that pressure that Coach Collins talked about before the game. Coach Collins mentioned he was gonna try some full court press here tonight, and you'll see that right now in the second quarter and wow, as that Memorial defense is stifling against the Wildcats right now. Well, the thing is, all they were really doing, Ryan, is putting their hands up there and just had it in the right spots to block the ball. That last one ended up touching the hand and sent him to the line, but no easy shots for Verona. No, but as you said, that is going to put Avery Fossum on the line for the Wildcats. First one up. Going to put it down. Now, we've not seen a missed free throw here tonight between either team. But uh, those are fundamentals, though, right? 
Yeah, some of your work on, you know, at least a couple times a week, if not every practice. Fossum with the second one, he's gonna put that down. And that takes the lead for the Spartans back down to 10. It is 30-20 with just over four and a half minutes left in the second period. And Verona not going away every time the Spartans kind of push that lead out a little bit. And Smith against Buss. Just gives it up to Songlo, who's been sort of taking over for Smith as far as the point scoring abilities in this quarter. Songolo to Wea. Back to Songolo over on the far wing. Smith back the other way, pulls up, and that shot's good as well. Another nice shot there by Sharif Smith. He can beat you the hard way or the easy way. It's just however you want to take it, it seems. You know, just a pure shooter for the Spartans. That's on display here today as we have another steal, and that's Wea. We said he'd be a problem on defense. Wow. And he proves he is. Now the Wildcats going to get a turnover there. Drive it down is Nathaniel Buss. It was a beautiful behind the back pass from Smith to Travis Lindquist, but he, I don't know if he saw that one coming or if it was just a little bit off, but, man, it was nice. But Verona ends up coming way with it. Well, it was so nice his own teammate didn't see that one coming, and it was a turnover. <laughs> right. And now with the 12-point lead, Verona going to the line. And 18 fouls for the Spartans, which means an automatic one and one. Now at the line is number 30, Quan Clements. Averaging 4.1, a high of 18, so he may not be the guy that's generally gonna score a lot of points, but he can get the job done when he needs to. And there, again, another free throw that goes down. And both these teams just on point with these free throws. Right now it's 32-21, and as I say that, they missed the free throw. It's an 11-point Spartan lead, 3.15 before halftime. Spartans again. Trying to find an inside room. Wilson will move it back top of the key to Songlo. He'll swing it back out. Over to the far side. Now Songolo finds his man inside into three men in traffic and Brett Tauber powers through. Nice play there by Tauber down low. We saw him take a couple long shots. But that's going to be a nice inside look for the tall 6-6 senior. And that one falls for Hellerman. Hellerman and that's back up to an 11 point lead. That? So with Kellerman and his first points of this quarter, go ahead, Ryan. Kellerman with the opportunity now for an A1 tax and financial three-point play. Should he sink the free throw here? And he'll also pull his Wildcats back within 10. He does complete that three-point play, and the scoring, no shortage of that here tonight so far, Ryan. No, not at all, 34-24. Both teams well on pace to surpass their average score. And uh, you want to try some different things as the postseason looms starting next week. And while that might have been a travel, it is. Yeah, that, that was a good call. Brett Tauber took that extra step. You don't get the NBA, uh, you know, officiating with, you know, are you a star? We're going to give you the extra step, you know. I didn't even know you still had a dribble in the NBA. Oh, yeah. A long three-pointer, and Kellerman knew it was no good. He didn't follow his shot, just gets back on defense, and Songolo will split the defense. Good crossover, and he'll take it to the rack. That one doesn't fall, goes out of bounds, stays with the Spartans. What ball control there by Songolo, though. He wasn't able to put the shot down, but just crossed over two Wildcats on his way to the rim. You'll see it here, or at least the tail end of it. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Wow, there's an easy one on the inbounds to Travis Lindquist. Find the open man. And a steal. That's going to be Billy Wilson intercepting the pass, bringing it back down for the Spartans. Wilson packs the bat down to Songolo. 
And, and just like that, away. Verona takes it back. Kellerman, contested, goes too far, doesn't get the foul call. And he ends up shooting it right underneath the basket. Goes back to the Spartans. It is a 12-point lead for Memorial. 119 to play in this opening half. You have Wilson on the top here, setting up the offense for the Spartans. Running a bit of time off the clock here. And we are now approaching one minute. Still just trying to set up and be very conservative here and deliberate with what you want to do if you're the Spartans. And now Verona brings the pressure. Wilson off the glass, no good, and the rebound goes. Oh, now to the Spartans, Sangalo. He'll take it and get the blocking foul. So Sangalo will try to get it done the dirty way. Yeah, Sangalo there, another good move to the defender for the Wildcats, I believe. That was Austin Wilson there with a little bit of a kind of fall. Not enough for the officials, Songlo up to shoot. Well, that's another thing, Ryan, you talk about the difference between high school and the NBA. You're not going to get the flop usually. No, not at all. That's, that's one thing I do like that the NBA has done now. It is 37-24 with 44 and a half ticks left before halftime. Songlo misses the tail end of those two free throws. 40 seconds, Kellerman takes it, contested, and he'll go to the line. Yeah, you have Kellerman there just driving it down, trying to make something happen. As the Wildcats are down 13, able to draw the foul, gonna send him to the line. Well, Ryan, I'm not the biggest guy, and I'm not the best at basketball, but one of the things that always scared me is going into traffic like that, like, if you're going to give me some space to take the shot, I can do it. But I can't drive. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it's hard. <laughs> Not an easy thing to do as you have him put it down there. That is Will Kellerman. It is an 11-point Spartan lead. Billy Wilson going to bring it back down for the Spartans. Just over 30 seconds left. They can hold for the final shot. 11 point game as Eric said, 25 seconds left on the clock in the first half. So Wea goes to Sangalo who's now pressured. Gets it to Tauber. Now just playing a little bit of keep away for these last 10 seconds or so until you get the look you want. Sangalo backs up and he's got five seconds to work with. He'll pull up. That one's down and that will be the end of this first half, it is 39-26. Let's go over to our table where we have Jess and Janet standing by. Thanks, Eric and Ryan. We're courtside here, and coming up next is the A1 Furniture Halftime Show. First will be Rona's dance team doing their performance. And we've got a shootout. Now, normally we're gonna do, we do a student shootout. This time we're gonna do something special. You got the mascots doing a very special performance shootout for us. That's all here on Halftime. Coming up after the break, nothing's bigger than big time basketball right here on CW57 Sports. Stick around. Have you ever noticed furniture store prices go up and down and then up again? At A1, no exaggerated discounts, just our everyday lowest price guaranteed. Need it fast? Just ask. A1 will get it done. Madison's favorite, A1 Furniture. A1 Tax and Financial is here to take the stress out of tax season. Conveniently located near West Town Mall, our friendly, knowledgeable staff takes the time to get to know you personally and will make sure you get all the deductions you are entitled to. After all, it's your money. We'll make sure that you only pay what you owe, not a dollar more. We'll even go through your previous tax returns for free and file an amended return if necessary. Give us a call to set up an appointment today. A1 Tax and Financial. We are in this together. Melio Sandwiches is a proud supporter of Wisconsin High School Athletics. With 24 community locations in and around Madison, Melio Sandwiches delivers to your home, office, and caters virtually any size event. Visit us at melios.com and like us on Facebook. Tired of playing the furniture store price guessing game? Prices are up one day, down the next. At A1 Furniture, no games, just our everyday lowest price guaranteed. Only at Madison's favorite local furniture and mattress store, A1 Furniture. 
Courtside, and with us we have the Basketball Booster Club from the Verona Wildcats. I have Nick and Brian. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. So tell me about the Basketball Booster Club. What do you guys do to help out your boys? Well, it's a group of parents, and what we like to do is help the coaches out by taking care of a lot of off-court activities, coordinating team dinners for the guys, um, getting our team poster together with some of the sponsors, and just letting the coaches worry about basketball and um, taking care of some of the off-the-court stuff for them. Boy, that's a pretty valuable thing that you're doing for those guys and for the coaches, I too. I don't think the kids realize that, but I'm sure someday they will. Right, isn't that how it goes? So what are some of the specific, specific things that you do with the funds that you raise? Well, we try and do a lot of camaraderie things because my goal is in the Booster Club is I want to build a lifetime of memories for these kids. And so we do a lot of dinners at restaurants where the Booster Club will pay for it. We'll do um, spaghetti dinners where we'll put them on for the, in the school. And just basically anything that we can think of where we're building team camaraderie. And then the things that you buy, you said like warm-up suits yeah. and things like that. Yeah. That's very cool. Now, I understand one special thing. It's senior night, and both of you have senior boys playing yes. tonight. Is that right? Yes. yes. Yeah, my son, Jake Toman. What number is he? He's number 31. And my son is Will Kellerman, number 34. Very cool. Good luck to your boys. Good luck to you and your basketball boys. Thanks for joining me tonight. We'll be coming back later with the mascots from the student shootout. Mother Earth Organic is Dane County's premier all-natural lawn care and landscape company. With our Safe Lawn program, we do more than just feed your grass organically. We also increase soil fertility by stimulating natural biological activity, which makes your lawn a truly healthy lawn. We can also control weeds and dandelions with our Safe and Organic Weed Killer. Sign up for our Safe Lawn Care program by March 31st and receive $35 off. Mother Earth Organic, thanks for being green. The friendly staff at the Radisson Hotel of Madison are proud supporters of Memorial High School Athletics. Stop by and check out their newly renovated restaurant, Twist, featuring a brand new menu and daily drink specials. You don't need to check in to eat out. Radisson Hotel. Go Spartans! Bruce going to bring it back down. Bruce already up the Wildcat falling behind. Oh, Bruce with a miss. Wildcat still working on the first hoop. Not quite. Not Bruce. Oh, Bruce, Bruce, you're killing me. Wildcat coming back down. And your winner, Bruce, the Spartan. Way to go. Thank you, Bruce and the Verona Wildcat. Once again, folks, you can watch tonight's game on the CW. Tomorrow night at 6 or Saturday at 3.30. So make sure you tune into that. So one more time, I am Ryan from the CW. Let's hear it for your winner tonight, Bruce the Spartan. The Annex at the Red Zone Madison is your bar for entertainment. Back in the day, the Annex was the spot for music in Madison. Today, we're still the best in entertainment and have a full menu for dine-in or carry-out. Check out the Red Zone Sliders, three mini burgers topped with grilled onions. Add any toppings you like or try the Chicken Philly. Sautéed chicken, onions, peppers, and provolone cheese served on a hoagie hits the spot. The Red Zone Madison, live music, sports, and the best pub grub in town. Well, that was a fun halftime shootout, guys. How'd you feel out there? Pretty good? Yeah. So we've got quite the trophy here, and one of these teams is going to take it home. Is it going to be the Wildcats or the Spartans? I think the Wildcats? Spartans. That's a tough call, isn't it, Janet? I don't know. Bruce, Bruce the Spartan, why do you think Memorial should take this trophy? Because you are strong and they're fast. Okay, well... What's the Wildcat Make got a over a good there? argument. So Wildcats, why do you think Wildcats are going to take it home tonight? Best shooters. Yeah, they, you know, we've got some good points that over here. That is a good point, think? yeah. Well, as for the student shootout, at least, or the mascot shootout tonight, Bruce, it looks like you took the, the little uh, prize we have here. Not quite as big as this trophy. We got some for you here and here. Don't worry, Wildcat, we got some for you, too. That's right. So thanks for playing. Great job. There's a little basketball for you.
we have a zombie poster, one of our shows on the CW, so you can take that home and put it up. And then a nice rain t-shirt. And uh, that's okay, we'll get it for you. But nice work. Here's your zombie poster. Make sure you put that up in your room. Thanks for watching. We've got more halftime for you coming up right after this. So stick around for A1 Furniture Big Time Basketball here on CW57. Have you ever noticed furniture store prices go up and down and then up again? At A1, no exaggerated discounts, just our everyday lowest price guaranteed. Need it fast? Just ask. A1 will get it done. Madison's favorite, A1 Furniture. Tell me more about the Charter Spectrum Triple Play. You mean the best TV, internet, and voice? Charter Spectrum Triple Play. TV. 200 free in Sweet HD, 10,000 on demand. Instantly. I'm not just the operator. Ditch to ditch, I'm your liberator. Charter Spectrum TV, just $29.99. Call 1-844-5529. Charter Spectrum High Speed means no slow down. 60 megs, I like the way that sounds. Say goodbye to DSL. Say hello to Fast As. Charter Spectrum Internet, just $29.99. Call 1-844-5529. Spectrum Voice Unlimited Talk. Zero fees and features that rock. Crystal clear connection, say hi. Charter Raiders, standing by. Charter Spectrum Voice, just $29.99. Call 1-844-5529. Yeah. 1-844-5529. Tired of playing the furniture store price guessing game? Prices are up one day, down the next. At A1 Furniture, no games, just our everyday lowest price, guaranteed. Only at Madison's favorite local furniture and mattress store, A1 Furniture. Right, here we are again. Boy, those mascots sure were fun. Right now we have the dance team from Rona High School. And with us we have Anna and Jamie. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, great so, job, girls. Yeah, nice job at halftime. No, we understand there's something special about your team this year. You don't have a dance team coach. Is that right? Yeah, we don't have one. It's all led by the dancers, particularly seniors. We have seven seniors on the team, so it's kind of hard to like divvy up responsibilities, but we make it work. Yeah, you sure do, and you did a great job out there. So tell us a little bit about what your practices look like. How often do you practice? Well, we meet three times a week, sometimes four, depending if we need it. And we just come in and have a good time for like half an hour before we start after school. And then we just pretty much run the dances. The seniors lead us. It's a really great like time. It sounds like fun. When, do, when can I start, right? <laughs> what kind of goals do you have for your team for the rest of the year? Well, I guess we just want to like give the best performances we can and really just build a sense of team unity and represent our school well. That's all we can ask for. Well, outstanding. Lots of fun, girls. Keep up the good work, and we'll have to check back with you. Hopefully another game. Great job. Thank you. Thank We're going to so get much. back to some basketball, so keep watching Big Time Basketball here on CW57 Sports. A1 Tax and Financial is here to take the stress out of tax season. Conveniently located near West Town Mall, our friendly, knowledgeable staff takes the time to get to know you personally and will make sure you get all the deductions you are entitled to. After all, it's your money. We'll make sure that you only pay what you owe, not a dollar more. We'll even go through your previous tax returns for free and file an amended return if necessary. Give us a call to set up an appointment today. A1 Tax and Financial. We are in this together. Mother Earth Organic is Dane County's premier all-natural lawn care and landscape company. With our Safe Lawn program, we do more than just feed your grass organically. We also increase soil fertility by stimulating natural biological activity, which makes your lawn a truly healthy lawn. We can also control weeds and dandelions with our safe and organic weed killer. Sign up for our Safe Lawn Care program by March 31st and receive $35 off. Mother Earth Organic, thanks for being green. Riders and Ryan Ashiger here in Verona where the Madison Memorial Spartans currently lead 39-26. Uh, Coco Songolo and Sharif Smith of the Spartans combined for 27 points in that first half, Ryan. They've been the story for the Spartans. Yeah, very impressive first half from both of them. And not only is Memorial winning on the scoreboard in half, but they won the halftime show as well as you guys saw with Bruce picking up the win there. 
Verona going to have the ball to start the second half here. Going to dive it inside. Not able to put it down. I think Jake Ferguson got a piece of that. Could have. Jake Tolman Talbert. trying to put it up. Tauber putting his body on the line. I believe that was Kellerman as well. Actually, no, that was Keaton Neppel. So it will be a charge and go to Verona, who now look to close this 13-point gap. Verona going to kick it around. Try to develop. They're probably going to try to develop an offense, be a little bit more conservative with the ball. Very early in the second half, they have a chance to get into the game. And there's a long three-pointer. That goes up. That is Will Kellerman with your A1 Tax and Financial three-point play for the Verona Wildcats. Yeah, he has a total of 13 points tonight, 10 in that first half. And then Howden finally gets something to fall close to the rim. He has now six points. It's 41-29 going the other way. A three Another big tap. three. Cole Schmitz with an A1 Tax Financial three-point play. The Wildcats coming out firing here early in the third period. It's 41-32. They've cut it down to nine. Tauber up at the top. And now Sharif Smith will take it, give it up to Songolo. Both those two guys really been absolutely stellar tonight from three-point land. Smith take it, kicks it out. That's a three-pointer that doesn't fall. A rare miss from the Spartans from downtown. Jake Ferguson there not able to put it down. And Kellerman, that backdoor pass. No. But we think Keaton Neppel for saving our broadcast table from that ball. Put your body on the line for us. I appreciate it. I'm part it. of the game now. Smith will inbound to Howden. 6.15 in quarter number three. 41-32. Did you just get reprimanded? I think I did. <laughs> Playing with the basketball. And Howden will get fouled and go to the line. So Howden with six points. This is his first time, first trip to the free throw line. Howden nearly getting that one to fall. This is going to make the first free throw. And how about the free throw shooting tonight from both these teams? I think there's been two misses. Yeah, very good, all, very good all the way around from both the Spartans and the Wildcats. As here you have the second attempt from Howden goes up. And just as we say that, they're going to miss one. But it is a 10-point lead, 42-32 with six minutes left in the third for the Memorial Spartans. So now Nuppel working against Ferguson. Now they go inside, slashing to the rim. A back door shot does not go. That one is a tough break. Howden, a chance, dumps it! And that's an exclamation point for Howden. He has five points in this quarter. Howden's gotten close to a couple of those here tonight. There you see him put it down. And not bad for the 6-3 Howden to be able to get the ups to put down a nice little dunk. Put well, the Spartans up Remember, 12. he's a walk-on receiver for the Badgers next year, so you gotta have a little bit of hop. And remember, that's, that's five points in this quarter for Howden. That's all five points for the Spartans. That's true. One more chance to look at that dunk, thanks to Mother Earth organic replay. Memorial yeah, making a subs coming into the game. That is going to be Travis Lindquist. Leaving is the aforementioned Howden. So McClure inbounds. And they'll swing it all the way around to Toman. Three-point attempt. Rims out. Lindquist Memorial fresh in the game, getting the rebound. Smith dishes it out, and just off the mark, Lindquist. And a near steal for the Spartans. Songolo tried it. And off the glass, and that one rolls in. Maurice Richmond. His first points of the night. It's a 10-point Verona lead. Smith will take it to the rack and get fouled. Another nice play there by Smith. Not a big guy, listed at 5'10". That in itself might be generous. As you see him get in there and get the foul to send himself to the line. Well, the thing about the Spartans, it seems like they came in here knowing that 
they have the edge in this series, and that confidence has really carried through to their play on the court. Yeah, as there you see Smith put down the first of his free throws. A team high 15 for Smith, one shy of his season average. So there it is, and they'll keep the streak going. Moves it back out to a 12-point lead for his Spartans. Verona trying to close that gap once again. They've stayed with them. So McClure gives it up to Fossum. And really, Ryan, has the penetration been an issue here? It seems like it kind of has. Well, Verona's been stuck on the outside as you see Smith driving it down again and drawing another foul. Sharif Smith, very quick, driving it back in. He's going to go back to the foul line. He's not afraid to take contact. No, not at all. It's played into his favor big time here against Verona as he's gone to the line several times. And he's a high percentage free throw shooter. First one up, and that's going to go down. To go back and answer your question, yeah, I think it has been a problem for Verona. They're stuck taking longer shots, not able to get a whole lot inside. And that could be part of the difference in this game. Well, I mean, it started out both these teams were absolutely on fire from three-point land. But then as the game has gone on, Smith makes that four for four in this quarter on free throws. But Verona's inability to get anything inside has really limited them. And that's why it's now a 14 point Spartan lead. And the bad luck on that one to not drop down. Hallmark tried to get that one to go. Four minutes left in quarter number three. More ball movement. We get a foul away from the ball. So they're going to call Ferguson on that one. Just a sophomore. It's also we had a chance to see him on the football field earlier in the in the fall. We had, uh, as we mentioned, Ryan, uh, Coach Adam Smith was here, who's now the actual coach of Memorial. He called that game with me. And you get to see someone like Ferguson, who's a multi-sport athlete. And with the inbounds now in play, Smith and Wea will pass it around a little bit. Ball movement by Memorial is really impressive. You know, kind of like the Badgers have been playing, except a little bit faster. Just passing around, trying to look for the open shot and trying to get one to go down. That time it's off the rim. Verona's gonna take control. And now we get a, another foul on the floor. And they're getting an inbounds pass. Kellerman will inbound it as Avery Fossum tried to take it inside to the basket and establish something inside. Kellerman working out there, finally comes across. Three minutes to play, he chucks up the three. That one, back iron, loose, taken by the Spartans. Smith will go the other way. And just very deliberate with their possessions now. So they have a comfortable 14 point lead, but we, we've seen that can be erased easily. Just maybe you don't, you don't want to get too comfortable, yeah. Just last week, we saw a big, big lead overtaken in the end. Yes, yeah, Mount Horeb had DeForest pretty much in their clutches, and then they kind of gave it away towards the end, but everything had to fall exactly right. And there's a nice little backdoor pass to Billy Wilson. Nice cut there by Wilson to go in and pick up the easy two driving down low. Finally inside, it works for the Wildcats, Jake Tolman. Kind of identical plays there, first for Memorial, then the Wildcats. Little backdoor cutters. Two and don't try anything each. fancy here. So we're down to under two minutes. It's still a 14 point Spartan lead. Smith spins around. It's a nice little move even though it didn't do a whole lot.
They find Wilson again, but he wasn't able to find the angle off the glass. Smith backs off again, and another foul called. And we get three Verona players checking in now. Quan Clements called on that contact. 50-36, a minute 31. Verona looking to get a toss in here. Talbert is blocked. And they're going to call a jump ball. That one will stay with the Spartans. As big as Talbert is, the 6'6 senior, you haven't seen him get down inside quite a bit to use his size. He's been more of an outside shooter in this game and helping to set up uh, the offense from outside of the arc. Well, what's great there defensively is maybe if you're smaller, you can't go for the block, but what you can do is do what you did just there, put both hands on the ball, and it ends up being a tie-up. Now Verona on the pass goes the other way. Bus, three-pointer, knocks that down. Nice shot there for the little sophomore listed at 5'9", the coach's son. You know, he's practiced that shot in the driveway about a thousand times before he stepped foot on the court here tonight. That A1 tax on financial three-point play cuts it down to an 11-point Spartan lead. Howden inside to Tauber. He'll continue to work it around side, and a three-point dagger straight on for Sharif Smith. Smith, the hot hand here tonight for the Memorial Spartans. Verona going to try driving out, kick to the outside. Resets the offense. Neppel and Kellerman trying to find something working outside to set something up inside. They'll keep swinging it around, and that one's going out of bounds right to coach. Going to be Memorial ball. 28 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Howden throwing it in to Smith. Koka Songolo and Sharif Smith continue to establish their presence on this team. 15 seconds, and Memorial will once again hold for the final shot of the quarter. Up big, 59-30, 53-39, excuse me. Five seconds, Smith finds the back door and that one is going to be tipped in the last second by Jake Ferguson that will count it'll be 55-39 to end quarter number three and nothing is bigger than big time basketball we'll be back after this A1 Tax and Financial is here to take the stress out of tax season conveniently located near West Town Mall our friendly knowledgeable staff takes the time to get to know you personally and we'll make sure you get all the deductions you are entitled to. After all, it's your money. We'll make sure that you only pay what you owe, not a dollar more. We'll even go through your previous tax returns for free and file an amended return if necessary. Give us a call to set up an appointment today. A1 Tax and Financial. We are in this together. The Annex at the Red Zone Madison is your bar for entertainment. Back in the day, the Annex was the spot for music in Madison. Today, we're still the best in entertainment and have a full menu for dine-in or carry-out. Check out the Red Zone Reuben. Hand-sliced corned beef, sauerkraut, melted Swiss, and Thousand Island dressing served on grilled rye. Or try the Red Zone Burger, a massive 10-ounce burger patty topped with three cheeses and strips of bacon. Hits the spot. Red Zone Madison, live music, sports, and the best pub grub in town. You're watching A1 Furniture Big Time Basketball. With us we have some Memorial Spartan school spirit excitable students. <laughs> but what's even more amazing is they're in their jammies. Show them off, guys. So what Looking gives? Good. What's with the jammies? <laughs> well, okay, just the jammies. Yeah. <laughs> what gives? Why are you in your jammies? Well, Janet, you see, we came out here kind of knowing this was going to be a sleeper game. So we thought it would be best for us to get in the right attire for, for us to take a nap after the third quarter when this should be over. You're kind of in my nap time right now, so I might have to leave the interview early. It depends on how long this is going to go. Well, you guys sure do have a lot of school spirit, and I think it's real impressive, actually, that for an away game, you have a lot of folks here, here cheering your team on. So why is that? You, why do you guys have so much school spirit? I mean, JMM is just one of the biggest schools in Madison that has all the school spirit, you know. Like, we really support our Spartans regardless of the sport, and we really just like cheering on our school. 
That's right. Well, you guys are doing a great job. Keep up the good work and cheering on your team. So I don't know if you guys realize it, but you got a big trophy here for the winner of tonight's game. So who's going to take the trophy? Uh, is that a question? I think I think the scoreboard will tell you that Memorial's about to win it. So. All right. It got a little more game to go. Thanks for chatting with us, guys. Go cheer on your boys. Back to the game. Uh, well, All a big right. Six Thanks points. to the ladies and to our guests. Man, that was quite a swing in that period as we came out of the end of the third quarter. It was 55-39 Spartans. Now it's 45-55 after six points straight from Will Kellerman. Yeah, Kellerman with a big three. Then he put down a two and got another one at the line. So a big swing there for the Verona Wildcats. And finally some inside room for the Wildcats. And that is Jake Tommen. He has four points, but that one... Keeps any hopes out of that third quarter alive as now Verona putting some defensive pressure on. Yeah, might as well try something a little bit different here as we get in the fourth quarter. Only a 10-point lead. Verona done a good job of coming back so far early in the fourth as Smith just a sick move. Oh, that Takes was a step nasty. in, steps out, and a sniper three-pointer for Sharif Smith a Memorial. Just so you know, he has not missed from three-point land tonight. He has 24, 26 points, if I did my math correctly. And that move was actually really nice as well, but Schmitz couldn't get it to fall. It's 60-47. And this game coming away. Toilet bowls in. Incredible. Coco Songlo going in there, putting it all on the line. Going to get the two and get the one. You see that thing went around the rim no, they three times. Well, they're not putting the points on the board, so I think they did call him for that charge. That's unfortunate because that was heck of an effort. That call surprised me on Songlo. Officials obviously have a better view than you do. Well, Songlo went and talked with the officials, and now it's an automatic one and one. They must have called a technical call because there's Kellerman getting his seventh point of the quarter. He has 20. It's a two and two. Eight points in this third or fourth quarter, excuse me. 21 points for him, 26 for Sharif Smith. It's going to be a scoring battle between these two men. And Verona gets the ball, by the way, on the technical. Yeah, down by 11. Trying to make a small comeback here as we get into the fourth quarter. And Kellerman again, but this time they'll call that one off. And Kellerman doesn't understand why. And 6 14 to play, and they rule that one in favor of Verona. So, yeah, Kellerman liking that explanation. And how about this? Eight points in this quarter. And more shots coming from the free throw line. This guy's doing it all. Not only eight points in the quarter, but now only an eight point lead for Memorial. And finally, the Verona crowd wakes up. Yeah, ESPN 8, the Ocho over there has gotten away from the broadcast booth and they're now fans. I don't know what it took, but Verona fans finally waking up, getting in this game. It could be the good run they go on here. And we'll be right back with A1 Furniture Big Time Basketball on CW57 Sports after this. Have you ever noticed furniture store prices go up and down and then up again? At A1, no exaggerated discounts, just our everyday lowest price guaranteed. Need it fast? Just ask. A1 will get it done. Madison's favorite, A1 Furniture. The friendly staff at the Radisson Hotel of Madison are proud supporters of Memorial High School Athletics. Stop by and check out their newly renovated restaurant, Twist, featuring a brand new menu and daily drink specials. You don't need to check in to eat out. Radisson Hotel. Go Spartans! Tired of playing the furniture store price guessing game? Prices are up one day, down the next. At A1 Furniture, no games, just our everyday lowest price guaranteed. Only at Madison's favorite local furniture and mattress store, A1 Furniture. Welcome back to A1 Furniture Big Time Basketball. After that red zone timeout, we have the Verona Wildcats coming back now down only eight. 
to the Memorial Spartans who have had control of this entire game. And Eric Verona playing with a new sense of confidence here early in the fourth. And with the fouls that both these teams have right now, six for the Wildcats, seven for the Spartans, it's automatic free throws. And Kellerman has been absolutely stellar from the line aside from that miss. And it's really kept Verona in it. Look, look at what he's done so far. He's got nine points in the quarter, closes to an eight-point gap. And now Verona has a chance here with six minutes left. Kellerman will take it. Ball will be taken by Ferguson. Spartans going the other way. Songolo shakes the defender out of his boots. He takes it down, gets the two. It's a 10-point lead once again. Yeah, Songlo's had moments where he's just taken the game over. That was one right there to extend the lead back out to 10. He has 15 on the night. Bus loses the handle, but finds it again. Five and a half to play. Getting it inside to Schmitz. Beautiful pass there to get it down inside to Cole Schmitz. Just over the top of the Memorial defender. Lead back down now to eight. He was a preseason first team all-conference member, but oh man. And then big number 44, Brett Tauber getting it done inside. Tauber gonna be able to go to the line after drawing the foul on that and sinking it. Tauber with a chance for an A1 tax and financial three-point play. And this one's big for the Spartans as well because it again pushes that lead out past the 10-point mark and just keeping this thing out of reach a little bit. Every time Verona claws back a little bit, Memorial seems to find something to keep it away. Inside Schmitz, he'll get that to fall. No foul called, but gets the points anyway. 65-56. So I wonder, if we, we were trying to figure out what that call was on the other end that Songolo wasn't uh, credited with the basket. So I wonder if maybe he said something that ended up being a, a technical. Yeah, it had to have been a technical on someone. Songolo's in the game, so I doubt it was on him. Usually a coach would take you out on that. Could have been something on the bench. We're not quite sure. We apologize for that. But we touched on it earlier in the game. This Memorial team is very hard to beat. And you can see that here today. Every time Verona tries to get back into it, Memorial just opened that lead right back up to 10. It's 66-56 with five minutes to play, and Tauber with a miss on that second free throw, but he's still been pretty key down the stretch here. Verona once again looking to keep that inside presence there. They have been able to get some success in the lane. And they do try it there. Hallmark will go to the line now. If you look at the average points per game, Memorial averaging 56, Verona averaging 55. The Memorial actually exceeding that mark right now. We still have 441 to play. Hallmark good on the first. His first point since that first quarter. And it's been a wild one. The crowd has been on their feet ever since it started this fourth quarter. And that brings the lead back down to eight now. From Memorial Verona putting on a full court press. Yeah, why not? Songolo finds... Ferguson inside who puts it off the glass and in. Nice play by Ferguson cutting through, getting open. Songlo found him, easy two points. Verona not giving up here, but they have to keep getting their points the hard way from the line. And Kellerman right now with the ball has been a big part of that. That one poked away, but Verona's still able to keep the handle. Four minutes to play in the corner. Kellerman. Wow, A1 tax and financial three point play. Seemed too easy. And that is going to be another three-pointer in this quarter. Kellerman really putting the Wildcats on his back here in the fourth quarter. Here's a stat for you. 
13 points for Kellerman in the first three quarters. He has 12 in this quarter alone. Impressive. And that it ties his season high of 25 points. Well, you'd be surprised if he didn't surpass that here tonight against Memorial. As we have Songolo on the line. So back up to an eight point lead with exactly four minutes left. But as we've seen, Verona not willing to let this one go. So Songolo hits on bowl. It's a nine point memorial lead. Wildcats and Kellerman right now. Just trying to find one more little spark to get a run going. And that could do it. You have got to be kidding me. On the money here in the fourth quarter. That makes 15 points in this quarter alone for Kellerman. A total of 28. He now takes over this game as the high point man. And another Memorial turnover, 64-70. Verona trying to get back into it. We now, could have an exciting finish yet. If you look at my score sheet, I only have so much room to write in numbers for Kellerman. As he has the ball again now. I'm running out of room on the score sheet, Ryan. And we have a fight for the ball. Now they're going to say that it's Verona ball. And as you would expect, Sharif Smith in there for Memorial, trying to keep his team involved. And the thing is, you might expect that. And that is a red zone timeout. We'll be right back after this on A1 or A1 Furniture Big Time Basketball on CW57 Sports. A1 Tax and Financial is here to take the stress out of tax season. Conveniently located near West Town Mall, our friendly, knowledgeable staff takes the time to get to know you personally and will make sure you get all the deductions you are entitled to. After all, it's your money. We'll make sure that you only pay what you owe, not a dollar more. We'll even go through your previous tax returns for free and file an amended return if necessary. Give us a call to set up an appointment today. A1 Tax and Financial. We are in this together. Emilio Sandwiches is a proud supporter of Wisconsin High School Athletics. With 24 community locations in and around Madison, Emilio Sandwiches delivers to your home, office, and caters virtually any size event. Visit us at Emilio's.com and like us on Facebook. Out of the red zone timeout, I'm Eric Rogers with Ryan Ashiker. The score is Madison Memorial 70, Verona 64, and he wouldn't know that these teams have already locked up their seatings in the WIAA sectionals for next week based on the score and what we've seen here late in this game. Oh, both teams playing their starters. A lot of intensity among both teams. As Sharif Smith now from Memorial going to bring it down the court. Six point lead his Spartans hold. And three minutes they need in order to keep that lead and clinch the outright Big 8 conference title. They otherwise need losses by Madison East and Middleton. 2.45 to play. And Memorial will just keep working a little bit of clock and finally fouled so Billy Wilson will head to the line. So we will take a sideline break real quick. We have Janet and Jessa standing by. Taking a quick break from the game, we have the activities director from Verona High School. This is Mark Cricka. Thanks for joining us, Mark. Mark, uh, pretty exciting game. It's starting to get close. But let's take a quick um, discussion of what else is going on besides basketball at Verona High School. Well, we're getting ready to start regional girls basketball tomorrow night. We have a home game against Kenosha Brad uh, Tramper. No, Bradford. Too many Kenosha schools. Uh, state swimming start, or state uh, wrestling started tonight. We have two wrestlers. Both will be wrestling again tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Uh, we had seven swimmers at state meet last week in uh, swimming, and 
Our high school band is in New York right now, uh, performing out in New York. Very cool. You must be proud. You're doing something right. Well, yeah. I hope so. I've been doing it a long time. So. Lots of great accomplishments, so congrats to you. And I understand this is not your first year. You've been at this a while, so you kind of know your stuff, don't you? Well, I hope I know it. I've been doing it for 26 my 26 years, the athletic director so, activities. Right so you now. started when you were 10? Yeah, how'd you know? Thanks. I appreciate that. And we've got an alma mater right here standing next yeah, to us nine, here. So how does it feel to have her? And this is the end of our interview. <laughs> yes, well, it is. That's, it's nice. We appreciate you having us here, and especially special for Janet. And uh, it's a great close game shaping up to be a good one. So it we'll is. get back to it. Thanks so much for having us, Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. All right, more basketball. Keep watching. Yeah, and they talked about how close this game is getting. It is a five-point lead, and the Spartans trying to hang on with 2.20 to play. Verona's fought this thing tooth and nail, Ryan. Well, yeah, what looked like was going to be a runaway for Memorial. Verona's just clawed their way to remain in this game. Billy Wilson hit a couple of free throws last time, and Jake Ferguson will get a chance to do the same. You talk about games that you need to win. When it comes down to the free throws like this, we've seen, we saw last week that missing your free throws can lead to a loss. Obviously, that's a pretty bold statement, isn't it, Ryan? <laughs> Very. That is not a problem either one of these teams have really had tonight, though, as you've covered a few times. Just stellar free throw shooting for both teams, and that's what's kept this game very close for Verona. And with that free throw, good as well. Good stuff, Maynard, for Jake Ferguson. And 2.05 to play. It's 74 67 from the corner. Three-pointer finally doesn't fall for Verona. Both these teams have been on fire from both the three-point line and the charity stripe. Yeah, when it matters, they've locked on, been stellar at shooting both teams here towards the end of the game. Going to line, it's going to be number 15, Coco Sango, for the Madison Memorial Spartans. With just under two minutes left, it is 74-67 Memorial. These free throws are pushing that lead out a little bit more. Maybe taking the air out of the sails for the Wildcats. It helps Memorial here because in those quick spurts, we've had uh, Verona being able to catch up in those quick little spurts when they're committing fouls against Memorial. That's when Memorial is able to pull away. A missed rebound from Nepal is gonna lead to a Coco Sangalo ball and somehow he gets through the defense without being fouled. Sharif Smith almost loses it, he's in the corner. They're gonna say it is off Smith and goes out of bounds. Verona will get a chance down by nine with a minute 38 to play. Heck a move there by Sangalo, how he didn't get fouled in there and cut through was absolutely amazing. Then you had Smith who didn't quite get the handle on the ball and that's gonna be a turnover. Verona now taking control down by nine. Yeah, Kellerman and Neppel there over on the near side. They get the ball into Schmitz and it's stolen. Wow. Smith is fouled. What an athletic move there by Sharif Smith to get that steal. He's gonna get fouled going down. You'll see here on the Mother Earth organic play, just quick athleticism. Great move there by Smith. Want to remind you to stay tuned for the post A1 Furniture post game show when CW57 Sports We'll present the A1 Furniture Big Time Basketball Trophy to the winner of tonight's game with 125 laps. It looks like it could be the Memorial Spartans as they are now up by 10 once again on the Wildcats of Verona. And this will be the final game of the Big Time Basketball Series for us here at CW57 Sports. We want to thank you for watching that series with us through these last five weeks. But we'll be back again with you the next sporting event. And you know, we always look forward to great things, and both these teams looking for great things heading into the postseason as Songolo hits both of them. Excuse me, Smith.
There's a three in the corner. That is Toman. That is a red zone timeout. We'll be right back on A1 Furniture Big Time Basketball on CW57 Sports after this. Have you ever noticed furniture store prices go up and down and then up again? At A1, no exaggerated discounts, just our everyday lowest price guaranteed. Need it fast? Just ask. A1 will get it done. Madison's favorite, A1 Furniture. Melio Sandwiches is a proud supporter of Wisconsin High School Athletics. With 24 community locations in and around Madison, Melio Sandwiches delivers to your home, office, and caters virtually any size event. Visit us at melios.com and like us on Facebook. Tired of playing the furniture store price guessing game? Prices are up one day, down the next. At A1 Furniture, no games, just our everyday lowest price guaranteed. Only at Madison's favorite local furniture and mattress store, A1 Furniture. Eric Riders and Ryan Ashiker here as you have one minute left in this contest between Madison Memorial and Verona. And going to the line once again is Billy Wilson, who's hit two of them in this quarter. And free throws could put this thing away here and take Memorial into the postseason, winning their last 13 games. Yeah, that's an impressive streak for Memorial, and it looks like they are going to do just that as the seconds tick away here on Verona. They've had a heck of an effort of the Wildcats trying to stay in this game, being within five just a mere minutes ago. And then Memorial opening it back up as the second one is missed there for Billy Wilson. And taking it all the way to the basket is Avery Fossum. A nice effort play there by Fossum, who now has four points on the night. And he'll go to the line for one more. Fossum, an opportunity for an A1 tax and financial three point play. 54 seconds left. How impressive has Will Kellerman been in this quarter to really try and get battle his team back? Just absolutely amazing. Six point lead now for Memorial. And they chuck it down to Wilson with 49 seconds and he'll be fouled. So it looks like it'll be fouls all the way now. Should be. Memorial gonna try playing keep away and Verona gonna try to make Memorial win at the line. You can see Kellerman, he's near us right now. He's put a lot into this fourth quarter as we've mentioned several times. He's down here talking to his teammates on the bench and the coach. It is senior day for him. Last game he's going to play at home here with his teammates in front of his fans. So we'll keep it here during the timeout. It's a seven-point Spartan lead. Want to remind you one more time to stay tuned for the A1 Furniture postgame show when we'll be presenting the A1 Furniture Big Time Basketball Trophy to the winner of tonight's game. And with a seven-point lead, it looks like that will be the Memorial Spartans. It's a very handsome-looking trophy. Who do you think they modeled that after? Uh, I'd like to think me, but I haven't played basketball in many a year. It's, it's way too thin, if that's the case. <laughs> Let's be real. And, uh, yeah, Kellerman with the 28 points. Coco Sangalo with six points in this quarter for a total of 19 both these teams have their players that are making an impact on the score, but look at the scoring so far. This has been absolutely impressive with the way both these teams have shot from both the free throw line and beyond the three-pointer, three-point land. Verona oh. will lose on senior night, but. You know, completely, we would not have expected an 80 and 73 plus point performance, now 81 for Memorial. Just doesn't happen. They're averaging 56 points per game. Over 80 points now at 81 for Memorial. That is impressive. And now Verona will put in number 13, Maurice Richmond, getting some playing time. The 5'6 senior guard, so not the tallest of guys, but you know, in this point in the game with 43 and a half seconds, it's probably gotten away from you. So now you just have a little fun with it. Yeah, you know, like you said, senior night, you want all these players to get an opportunity to step on the court one more time, play with their teammates, play for their fans, and, you know, just end their high school career with a good memory. And Coco Sangalo will take a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it here during that period. So we have 32.4 ticks left on the clock and an eight-point memorial lead. Now, they will go on 
next week to face the winner of Janesville Parker and Kenosha Tremper. So both these teams will get plenty of rest heading into the postseason. Number eight, Verona taking on number nine, Badger in Verona here. So although this game hasn't turned out the way Verona may have wanted it, they've won six of the last seven games, and they still have a lot to fight for, you know, in the postseason saying, hey, we stuck with Verona or with Madison Memorial for the majority of this game. And you're going to see Verona here in the last 25 seconds with an all-senior lineup on the floor. Got to like that. Yeah. Nice little tribute to their wanna, players. Want to give a, a special recognition to the Verona students and staff. They've done a great job walking around the school for senior night. Big posters of these players. They got big uh, inflated heads in the stands. Great job sending these players out with a good win. And as time ticks away, it is 81-73 favor of the Madison Memorial Spartans as they are your A1 Furniture Big Time Basketball Trophy winners here tonight to end our season. And your high point man of the night is Will Kellerman for Verona at 28 points. And so we will send it to break. We'll be back with a little post-game show and the Big Time Trophy presentation on CW57 Sports. Tell me more about the Charter Spectrum Triple Play. You mean the best TV, internet, and voice? Charter Spectrum Triple Play. TV. 200 free in Sweet HD, 10,000 on demand. Instantly. I'm not just the operator. Ditch to ditch, I'm your liberator. Charter Spectrum TV, just $29.99. Call 1-844-55-2999. Charter Spectrum High Speed means no slow down. 60 megs, I like the way that sounds. Say goodbye to DSL. Say hello to Fast As. Charter Spectrum Internet, just $29.99. Call 1-844-55-2999. Charter Spectrum Voice Unlimited Talk. Zero fees and features that rock. Crystal clear connection, say hi. Charter Raiders, standing by. Charter Spectrum Voice, just $29.99. Call 1-844-55-2999. Eric Riders and Ryan Ashker here in Verona to wrap up Madison Memorial's 81-73 win over Verona on senior night. As I was adding up the stats here and the numbers, Ryan, Sharif Smith of Memorial also had 28 points. So both teams had a 28-point leader and a lot of scoring. Verona, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 players putting points on the board and contributing to that game. And unfortunately, they fell tonight. All right, yeah, very impressive win once again to Madison Memorial. And we're going to take a quick break before we join the girls at courtside with the Spartans. We'll be right back after this on A1 Furniture Big Time Basketball. Have you ever noticed furniture store prices go up and down and then up again? At A1, no exaggerated discounts, just our everyday lowest price guaranteed. Need it fast? Just ask. A1 will get it done. Madison's favorite, A1 Furniture. The friendly staff at the Radisson Hotel of Madison are proud supporters of Memorial High School Athletics. Stop by and check out their newly renovated restaurant, Twist, featuring a brand new menu and daily drink specials. You don't need to check in to eat out. Radisson Hotel. Go Spartans! Melio's Sandwiches is a proud supporter of Wisconsin High School Athletics. With 24 community locations in and around Madison, Melio's Sandwiches delivers to your home, office, and caters virtually any size event. Visit us at melios.com and like us on Facebook. Tired of playing the furniture store price guessing game? Prices are up one day, down the next. At A1 Furniture, no games, just our everyday lowest price guaranteed. Only at Madison's favorite local furniture and mattress store, A1 Furniture. All right, we are here at the A1 Furniture Big Time Basketball where the Memorial Spartans just won on Verona's home court. So, Coach, you've had an outstanding season. What's your secret? Huh. The ball went in the basket tonight. That was our secret tonight. You know, these guys were really resilient. We were on three, and they were able to come back. And I'm very proud of them tonight. Absolutely. Well, great job and a well-deserved win for you. Thank so, you. congrats. Good game, Coach Collins. We have uh, quite a trophy for you and your boys. This is on behalf of A1 Furniture and CW Sports. We'd like to present you with this oh ginormous trophy. 
and we're going to get Eric and Adam in here so that they can ask the coach a couple of questions. I think, anyways. You know what? <laughs> coach, congratulations here tonight. Players played great. And we're on to the playoffs for the Spartans. We are, you know, now now the fun season really starts. So we'll, we'll see what they're made of now. So very proud of them. Yeah, talk about a little bit. Uh, obviously, you clinched your, uh, your Big 8 conference title. Uh, I believe that was your 13th, if I'm not mistaken, uh, 12, in a row. 12, 12, 12, sorry, we'll sorry. 13. Yeah, but, uh, you know, coming in, Verona, they battled back. They came in within, I think, four points of the, of the game. But now, what was the key to staying ahead? Today, you know, uh, you know, we had a little bump there in that fourth quarter, but um, you know, I got, I basically have senior leaders, and they took over, and we made free throws. You make free throws down the stretch, you win a lot of games. So, yeah, that's that's very true. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, Coach. Good good luck again in the playoffs. Uh, for all of us here at CW57 Sports and A1 Furniture, this has been Big Time Basketball. We want to thank you for watching. We'll be back next football season. The Annex at the Red Zone Madison is your bar for entertainment. Back in the day, the Annex was the spot for music in Madison. Today, we're still the best in entertainment and have a full menu for dine-in or carry-out. Check out the Red Zone sliders, three mini burgers topped with grilled onions. Add any toppings you like or try the chicken filly, sauteed chicken, onions, peppers, and provolone cheese served on a hoagie hits the spot. The Red Zone Madison, live music, sports, and the best pub grub in town. Meet the girl who's got everyone talking. You're pregnant. But I've never had sex. Critics are calling Jane the Virgin's Gina Rodriguez funny, impressive, charming, ingenuous, a revelation. And I usually wear clamshells. Gina Rodriguez is a star. I'm having a baby. The most critically acclaimed new series, Jane the Virgin. Mondays at 9, 8 central on The CW. Mother Earth Organic is Dane County's premier all-natural lawn care and landscape company. With our Safe Lawn program, we do more than just feed your grass organically. We also increase soil fertility by stimulating natural biological activity, which makes your lawn a truly healthy lawn. We can also control weeds and dandelions with our safe and organic weed killer. Sign up for our Safe Lawn Care program by March 31st and receive $35 off. Mother Earth Organic, thanks for being green. A1 Tax and Financial is here to take the stress out of tax season. Conveniently located near West Town Mall, our friendly, knowledgeable staff takes the time to get to know you personally and will make sure you get all the deductions you are entitled to. After all, it's your money. We'll make sure that you only pay what you owe, not a dollar more. We'll even go through your previous tax returns for free and file an amended return if necessary. Give us a call to set up an appointment today. A1 Tax and Financial. We are in this together.